Cut the music, cut the music, I'm trying to record. What's going on YouTube, it's Castlescope. We back with another one. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make your own 3D pop-out effect. This time it's gonna be with Instagram. And um, yeah, it can be cool if you guys wanna put it on something like your portfolio or a wallpaper. Or if you just want to impress your mom, this will be something that can be really cool. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so what you see on screen is what you're really going to want to emphasize in this project because the video that I'm playing back is going to be at two times speed. I'm going to be doing a voiceover, but it might get a little fast for you guys. So these are things that you really just need to uh, lock in on and you'll be fine. You'll be completely fine. So use the dimensions of 1125 by 2436. Um, you should probably put it at about 72 PPI pixels per inch. Um, use your phone to get your screenshot. So you can just use your phone and literally get all the elements that you need for this. Utilize your layer mask, utilize your rectangle tool, and also just be creative, okay? And one more thing to emphasize when you're gonna transfer your pictures from your phone to the computer, and the app that I would use is called Telegram, T-E-L-E-G-R-A-M. See, I can spell, guys. So use Telegram, and that's gonna help you to transfer the photos from your phone to computer. All right, guys, so I'm starting off my project, getting my dimensions all right. And this is where I'm saying that you're gonna have to be using your rectangle selection tool and your rectangle tool a lot, along with layer mask. So I use my rectangle selection tool, and I'm using layer mask for pretty much every part of this you guys are gonna see. Um, it's just gonna be really important. I actually ended up adding a drop shadow on this a little bit. You can add drop shadow if you really want, it's up to you. I think the shadows make it a little bit cleaner and show just a little bit more depth overall for what the effect that you're trying to get. But as you guys see, I'm just moving everything around, getting everything nice and like set up before I really start locking in everything. So I'm just making sure I have everything all set up, using my rectangle tool to fill in the areas that I don't want to be um, uncovered with pictures and all those type of good, good things. So you guys see measuring right there. I'm just measuring out the, the, the logo and all that type of stuff. Cause I mean, I downloaded the same, the same screenshots from my phone, but two of them were kind of just slightly different sizes. I don't know why that happened, but if that does happen, just be sure to measure out your, your widths and lengths, all this, all that good type of stuff that you need to measure out when doing a design. Cause that's the basis of a design. Just making sure you have everything in place before you start to start doing it. Then I made a selection of my Bradley Beal uh, right here. And um, yeah, so I wanted Bradley Beal to be on the wallpaper, uh, whatever you want to call it, effect wallpaper. Doesn't matter. I want him to be the star of it. So I made a selection of him. And what you're going to have to do is make a selection of your character and then our subject. And then you're going to also have to put a duplicate copy of the background without the mask of the character or su subject on there so that you actually get that 3D effect. So you guys see, I just duplicate that and I'm deleting my underneath mask and I put it in a group and I'm pasting it back onto my composition. Well, for the first time, putting it onto my composition in a group. Okay, so that's cool right there. Then I'm getting that bottom part of the Instagram post, you know, with the likes, comments, sends, all that type of stuff. So I mask that out and I control V to place it onto my composition as well. And, uh, See, at this point, I was like, all right, that castle scope post is way too big. So I made sure to put my my castle scope um, post down immediately, like way down, because that would be way too much of the wallpaper that it's covering up. And I want the base of the wall, not the base, but the focus of the wallpaper to be the Bradley Beal um, picture. Right. Because that wouldn't make sense. And then now you guys see how I have two separate separated masks for the background then I have the subject and that's how, how you saw because it, it came apart for a little bit because I actually messed up there and started dragging things without um, aligning it up but I, I eventually lined it up lined it up again greatly so at this point I'm just making some some decisions some creative decisions that I feel like I want to be on there and uh, see I'm erasing the parts that I don't want to be over the edge because I want this to be a clean design obviously so it can't have part of the picture just sticking out from the bottom that would make no sense now I'm just adding in like the little text that I need to have on there and I'm gonna tell you guys the text that I used for this because your text you want it to match the Instagram text pretty much or pretty closely okay so fam the text you're gonna need to use are Proxima Nova 
Pragmatica and Helvetica Nui. All right, I'm gonna link them down in the description anyway because I'll upload a file just for you guys so you guys can download those fonts if you want to do this. Uh, but yeah, I'll download. I'll link those in the description. All right, so anyways, finishing up on here, pretty much you guys see whenever I don't want something to be there, I'm literally just filling it in with the rectangle tool on white with no stroke because that just worked out for me very well. And then I'm just adding in text that I want to be there instead. So I was like, nah, Russell Westbrook's his new teammate. Russell Westbrook liked it. And then for some odd reason, I just, I just had to uh, put Tsunami Poppy there as he liked it. So, you know, you'll see that. But, you know, so Tsunami Poppy, he, he definitely liked this post as well. That we made up so the great thing about this too is that you can use whatever picture that you really want or your favorite picture of all time and you can just make your own instagram post i, I might do a version two and i might do a dark instagram post because like that's just completely insane right dark instagram is just on a different level than light instagram but uh yeah i'm just mimicking the text that i have on there and then you guys are gonna see just uh getting that font to the right size and the right width all that type of good stuff and then can't be stopped i put this into a hashtag instead and i've said real deal feel all right i'm not playing then i use my selection tool and i'm making it that blue that is on there right about to that blue you don't have to be like oh my god it's not the exact same blue i'm going to get so mad at myself like calm down no but then i just added in a emoji and literally the emoji is just a png so you can search up whatever emoji you want to put on there on google and then just put png so if you wanted a fire emoji put fire emoji png or if you wanted like it to check mark you go check mark png and then you're gonna find it easy and then you're just gonna move everything around like I, I think you guys like these tutorials where it's like not something that's too difficult but it's also fun to do so then i'm just coloring on a on a blank layer that i created behind and i'm putting my flow down on my brush on a black brush and I'm just painting in my own shadow. That's what I did there. And then I'm just making a selection around this heart to fill in the heart. Like, cause I liked it, obviously. Like, you gotta like that picture. So I'm just filling in the heart using a, a color reference and then use my paint bucket tool to fill that in. And then I just missed a little bit on the edge, you know. So you gotta clean it up and uh, use your paint bucket tool again, man. I also added a skin. You guys can add skins. If you don't have Topaz Labs, then you could just like do it from the way that I dropped the tutorial last week, uh, how to do skins without Topaz Labs. But if you do have Topaz Labs, you're in luck. Just add a skin because it's going to make him pop out more. Then the last thing, this is kind of like an extra, extra thing I had to do, but you know, I have to always force it for you guys. So <laughs> I decided to make my own like bar. And uh, so I already had pretty much the like bar there, but then I'm just filling it in with my own stats. My Instagram stats because you know you got to be the Instagram MVP because we all know if you're not getting enough likes and enough followers you are a failure okay so you had to I had to make sure I had over a hundred likes and over 54 followers you know had to do it to him that that's just what I had to do filled it in and I masked out the other numbers with the rectangle tool once again and then I'm just making it a whole new layer so I press control shift all or option on the mac plus e to make that big notification sign and then we're right there drop adding a little drop shadow on there and uh yeah now this this wallpaper pop out effect whatever you want to call it is done hope you guys like this video and it helped you out at least a little bit into getting your creative mind going your creative fibers in your brain and muscle yeah all right so so hope this video helped you guys Make sure you guys drop a like if it did and sub up to the channel if you guys are new turn post notifications on so you know whenever I go live or upload a new video. With that being said, let me know what else you want to see down in the comment section below and stay scoped guys. I'm out. Peace.